Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to, I can't believe I'm saying this, Need for Speed Unbound. Need for Speed is finally back. I honestly was not expecting this at all. I really wasn't. From the complete dead silence of Criterion Games ever since the release of Volume 5, we just kind of figured, all right, this is back to the new norm. This is back to them being in the middle of developing the next Need for Speed game. And we're just going to have to wait another two years minimum before we hear anything back. Well, the wait is no longer. It is volume six. And what all did we get in volume six? Well, first and foremost, PvP playlists. So rather than having to join an online lobby and then exit the garage, go into free roam, choose an event, invite all of the players in the lobby, have to wait for them to accept or decline or anything like that. This is a more streamlined experience. So here, as a demonstration, we're here in the uh, multiplayer garage. I hit play. We'll uh, find a game. I'll hit PvP. And do a uh, R8 red line playlist. And one loading screen later, here we are. We are now in a multiplayer lobby waiting for the beginning of the scenic route, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of other really cool things that they added, Criterion specifically added with this update here. One of the big things that you can tell here is somehow, some way, Audi has made a return. It's been a manufacturer that fans have been yearning for and begging for for years, and they just, Audi just made an unexpected retreat from the franchise for no particular reason. And it was a little bit sad because the Audi R8 has been with the franchise ever since the car came out, and even more so became a legendary car because of Darius's Audi R8 from Need for Speed Carbon. So when Audi just mysteriously disappeared, it was kind of like a, a really sad moment for the franchise because it's like, well, this is one of the iconic cars from its history and it's not here anymore. So thankfully, when Audi came back, Criterion were huge to say, hey, you can get the Audi R8. And by the way, here's uh, Darius's livery. Another little bit of a critique here is the premium speed pass. I know a lot of people have also aired their criticisms here where, like, for example, the Audi RS6 Avant, I believe it's called. It is the kind of sports wagon design. Really cool car, and I loved it ever since uh, Audi had released it. Is kind of locked behind a paywall. You have to... There's the normal speed pass where if you just do enough races, you get XP and you unlock certain uh, cars and customizations. In order to fund the continuous live updates from Criterion, EA said, hey, you got to find some sort of way to monetize this game. And unfortunately, the only way that was good enough was to do a premium speed pass. So you've got the normal one, and then you've got the premium. So if you spend an extra 10 bucks, you have the opportunity to unlock new cars and new customization options, which I highly dislike. But if it's an extra 10 bucks to be able to continue funding Need for Speed Unbound for another year, you know, there are some sacrifices that needed to have been met and I'm okay sending a little bit of extra money their way. Here we are in the Audi RS6 Avant playlist here. Full lobby. And I'm very excited. Again, like I said before, I was excited to finally be able to play this car as it's a really neat car. And already, like, just playing this feels like the car is already in so much more control than a lot of the other cars that I've played. And, and bound. It seems like that uh, a brand new handling model has been updated for kind of the new Audis and myself included as well as the community have aired uh, their kind of hopes and dreams that this new handling model gets applied to some of the other cars because man these Audis are grippy, they're planted 
They have a really nice, I mean, look at that. It's just a really gradual, nice drift entrance and exit. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that that handling mod comes over. Finally, last but not least, that I kind of sort of touched on, but not necessarily, um, the new weekly PvP playlists. So part of uh, Criterion's attempt to make Need for Speed Unbound a more live service focused game, there are now weekly playlists. So like I was saying before, instead of having to go, you know, through the garage into the free roam, into, you know, the vents and all that kind of stuff, you can just drop into a playlist. And these little optimizations that Criterion has added in order to streamline the online experience are kind of nice. I've not been huge into multiplayer games previously. I just kind of want to play the single player and not really deal with the multiplayer online because of all the rammers and just not having a good group of people to play with. But with this, it's pretty neat to have weekly playlists because it just focuses on the fact that Criterion are watching what other uh, gaming companies are doing with how to keep their fan base engaged, how to keep them continuously coming back every week to play their game because it's just there there were some attempts with the Lakeshore Online update that Criterion had in regards to adding some quality of life features but it still felt like it was back in the dark ages where it was still focused on multiplayer features from 10 years ago and it didn't really seem like that there is much attempt to create a modernized game so this update really shows that in the next couple in, next couple of months that Criterion are really focusing on revitalizing this game and really working on making it more modern and I really appreciate that so lastly, one of the things I wanted to discuss was Criterion's next couple of things that they're working on for this next few updates. And it was a little bit interesting is when all those content creators had come out and said that the you know they're touring Criterion's offices and whatnot. The one thing that I kind of noticed was on the top of their game wall, they said for 2023 into 2024, was Need for Speed Unbound live service. And at the time, this is before any of this was announced. I was kind of like, well, if they consider what they've been doing live service, they haven't been doing a very good job. And thankfully, they came out and released a statement like a day or two later saying, hey, you know, surprise everybody, year two roadmap is here. So for February through April, it is the head to head update, which this was a surprise. I was expecting it to be like mid to late March that we'd finally see an update for this. And then they just kind of shadow dropped volume six. So I was very surprised there. So we already know what head to head is. It's the addition of the PVP playlists. Next update, which is May through July, is the drift and drag playlist. This one is a little bit kind of a head scratcher because there are already drift events in the game. They're not very well utilized, so I'm hoping that they expand on it further. But the re-edition of Drag Events is huge in my mind. It's been since payback, really, since we've had any Drag Events. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Of course, uh, next update is Cops vs. Racers. Again, kind of scratching my head on this one. This, again, is for August through October. I was a little bit confused because it's like, well, we already have the Gauntlet playlist where it's cars versus cops or racers versus cops. So I'm hoping that this next update in uh, August focuses on, hey, you could play as police now, which would be incredible in this uh, environment, uh, being able to play as cops and Unbound. Man, I would be super psyched for that. And last but not least, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> so that is uh, October through December. I imagine at the very worst, we'd hear about it or get an update that coincides with the second anniversary of Need for Speed Unbound, which is kind of crazy to think that it's already getting to that age. We're already at like 
I don't know, close to about, I don't know, a little bit over a year. So I'm really excited to see what they come up with that last update. Maybe it's the fact that they haven't really thought of anything yet. They're still working it out. They're still in the planning pl phases. Fine by me. But, well, we've reached the end of the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I am super stoked. Super, super, super stoked to see what Criterion does with a full year of Need for Speed Unbound. So stay tuned as I will discuss more of the updates as they come through. So again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.